wanted to have an effect. Our intention were political yes. intention. And Orson really? Welles never wanted to have an effect. He d it just happened because it was so uh, so so real. It so was not an artistical uh, uh, reference. Our, our aim was and were poli political. Yes, it, it, it's the reason why there is a lot of political and negative reaction because, because as journalists. The, the, the false neutrality of journalists. I don't believe never in the objectivity of journalists. That's, that's, that's a, a story, of course. That, that, did that you lose any credibility? Hmm? Did you lose any credibility because of that? N neither yeah. credibility. A lot of people has, have said that we will lose, of course, but credibility, you, you especially have... journalists who have played their own role this evening. <laughs> but when you, when you look at at uh, the the oh, le chiffre, uh, the, the amount the, the, the amount rating. of the audience after the broadcasting during the the weeks after uh, the our audience has grow has grow uh, and not grow down you understand but the credibility we have we have said that that was a false a false news breaking you understand after the program we have said all that's that that that's that is not true, and we have a, a real debate with political men just after this emission, and thus there is no no doubt about about this program. In the beginning, of course, there is a doubt: is the true of not the true? But but in the end, of course, of our program, everybody knows that that was not true. So it was kind of warning. What could it happen? Uh, so it was a kind of warning. What could it happen? Yes, 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 yes. No, uh, uh, I just was under the impression that I heard you say in in Slovenian uh, that you 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 cannot forbid things on the media. That it would also not be that it would also not be right to to say that there are certain things you cannot say on the media. Is that uh, is that what you were saying? Um. I am going to go over Slovenian. No, it's better if you say English. Because I don't understand English. Sure. Uh, it's, um, I, I, don't answer. <laughs> I wouldn't say so. Uh, but, you know, uh, the media are free in s this amount. So mm. you can tell as you as you want, but you know, in the, there are some limitation of, you know, to, uh, in the. Um, I mean, regarding on ethic code, you know, don't tell lies and whatever. Uh, this okay, because I, 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 I think it's really <laughs> that's why <right>, just <laughs> opposite intention. Okay, we are telling lies, so you see what could it happen or something like that. Uh, I, 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 because I, I, this question was: Do alternative radios uh, have a job in criticizing official media? I think they have to. They, I think actually. If, if you have a totally open society, you know, you have in, the, in Western Europe, you have different media liberties. In Germany and in other countries, if you are a neo-Nazi and you want to broadcast neo-Nazi messages, you go to prison if you sure. say that you... Uh, in, Belgium. in Belgium too. In Denmark, there was a neo-Nazi station that was broadcasting. So there are different ways of saying yeah. media liberty. So if you have total liberty, then I think alternative media are, are really important to, 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 to control the, the, the institutional media. You, if you don't, then it's good to have laws about it. You see, uh, what is important, what um, a friend from uh, Belgium uh, was saying before, uh, you mean, you mean, I mean, uh, regarding the you know, about hate speech. Uh, you know, uh, the problem is, uh, as you say, in uh, public TV, uh, to be, uh, you know, to have a lot of audience from one, sa uh, one hand and from the other hand, to be, to have the quality of program. How to, do, how to do this? How to achieve? Now, you know, our public TV is turning, you know, to, to have a lot of audience, and this is the problem. We have commercial contents, and now, you know, uh, what happened at the end? The commercial TV is more credible than public TV. That's it, that is the result. And we have, you know, as you mentioned, 
uh, what happened, you couldn't say anything, you know, uh, you, to use hate speech. We have one uh, show, like Pyramida, uh, it is saying it from Croatia, uh, Pyramid, and, you know, some politicians, especially one leader of national, uh, national party, used hate speech in, in public TV. Can you imagine? This is it, you know, to be, to be good yes, for the Yes, and nobody stopped public. him. He was talking and talking and nobody really stopped him or stopped imitating the show. So yes, that's the problem. I have to say, where leads the, you know, uh, the public TV intention to be more because, because <laughs> commercial? Because the public is controlled by the political power. That's, that's it. That's yeah, but also here in Yugoslavia you have a tradition of a controlled media. And so people are maybe <laughs> not used to it. Uh, <laughs> to start the Portuguese Susan Voislav Sheshi, Yes, the Serbsk radical stranka je uspela da sakupi broj, uh, određeni broj potpisa, da izvrši politički pritisak i da dobiju mogućnost da se prenosi uh, suđenje koje je počeo Vojislavu Šešelju. Jedini kompromis koji je napravljen, dakle, on ne ide onako u celosti kao što je išlo suđenje, kada je bilo suđenje Miloševiću na televiziji 1992, upravo to, i to se u vlasti večernim terminima, tako da, što kažu, i, sit, i Vuk siti ovce na broju, e, sad ono što je zanimljivo, reakcije ovaj, ljudi, znači ide na javnom servisu, na državnoj televiziji, i to ide ne na prvom kanalu, nego na drugom kanalu, koji je uglavnom rezervisan. Na prvom Da. A, još uvijek nema reakcija običnih ljudi, ali ono što je zanimljivo, ovaj, od političara jedini koji je potpisao um, tu peticiju za prenos ovaj, suđenje Vojislavu Šešelju je bio nedaj članak uh, iz Lige socijaldemokrata Vojvodine, dok su se drugi pravili ljudi i nisu hteli da to potpišu, ali su na kraju ipak prisutni. Ja moram da priznam da je zanimljivo, mislim, ja sam gledao par puta, samo ja gledam to, uh, I will translate now, uh, will I watch uh, trial of Vojislavu Šešelju, I watch like uh, not documentary fiction, not part of fiction documentary. Oh, but... <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, uh, but it's interesting, uh, it's a, uh, like, uh, long, uh, ne, stekovito je zanimljivo zato što upravo ovaj proces suđenja počinje u predizbornoj kampanji u Srbiji i e, Srpska radikalna stranka je negde ubeđena da će ovim što je omogućeno da se vidi ovaj, kako ide proces suđenja u Hagu e, dobiti na rejtingu, ali ono što je strahovito interesantno u stvari, e, ja sam gledala nekoliko puta ovaj, te specijale najbolje, ovaj, E, Šeše tu demonstrira u stvari ono što jeste ta politička i medijska propaganda koja je e, pripremala rat u bivšoj Jugoslaviji koja ga je održavala svih tih deset godina i sad ko je dovoljno spreman da se suoči sa tim vidjet će šta on sad opet isto to radi, on znači istu tu matricu pokazuje, tako da mislim da je dobro da treba e, ljudi u Srbiji da gledaju to, jedino što nije dobro to što nemamo političare, odnosno tu političku elitu koja će ukazati upravo na tu vrstu problema. Maybe, Mr. Rice, this is again your topic, uh, mm-hmm. media is generating uh, yeah, I, I think I, whatever this and hate and so on. Uh, Oh, okay. In whatever. terms of this, uh, uh, whatever you mean, in terms of to react to what Maria just, just <laughs> says. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I can only imagine what she said because it was in 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 Serbian. But uh, I think the case of uh, what you have uh, said is very interesting.